All right, so today we are here to talk about something very unique, Axe Cop. I was emailed by the people over at IndieBag who try to get video games that aren't relatively known and try to get them off the ground and try and get them to more people's eyes. They sent me over a free key to use to try out the game and you know what? I was intrigued and I wanted to see what this game was about. And while these kind of games aren't usually what I play, I was very fascinated by the concept of the game and the characters that I had to play and see what it was all about. Kind of reminds me of this movie called Wolf Cop and my beef I have with them, but that's another story for a whole other time. So Axe Cop is this guy that recruits a bunch of people on his team and try to protect his city and visit other planets. So what was my biggest takeaway from this video game? Well, the gameplay is pretty fun if you are into turn-based RPGs, but this story is just ridiculous. I don't want to get into it too much because I want you guys to figure it out yourselves, but pretty much the biggest fun part about this game is just coming across the numerous amount of characters that you wouldn't think anyone would create. So the first level has you going into this place called Land of Volcanoes, where it's just completely inhabited by dinosaurs. You, Axe Cop, must go there, chop their heads off, and put them on pikes with your friend that you first meet, Flute Cop. Yeah. And it only gets more ridiculous from here. Now, the gameplay itself is all right. I really don't like how you have to run by holding down the arrow key, which, by the way, threw me off so much because I was expecting the movement keys to be uh, WASD, but it wasn't. It was the actual arrow key, so I was like, eh, whatever. But like I said about the running, I think I would rather prefer to have it either hold shift to run or like double tap the arrow key to run, only because there are times where I just feel like not running all the time. Now, the walking pace is very slow, so I understand why it would want to make you run all the time, but then just make the walking pace a bit quicker and make running an option. Combat is pretty much any turn-based fighting game you've ever played. However, I do wish that you were able to see enemies' health during the fight. Granted, there are some characters that do have the ability to tell you what exactly the, the character that you're fighting's health is at, but it really didn't help me out in the fight. You can't really gauge how many hits it's going to take you with certain characters to defeat certain enemies. Now, like I said, the creation of these characters are insane, but fit considering how crazy the story is trying to be. Like, who knew I was going to be able to fight an evil Santa Claus from the South Pole? Another thing that does bother me, though, is that there is no map for any of the levels you enter. So I can never really tell exactly where I am in the game. I can get very lost quickly sometimes, and because of that, the enemies that I defeated in the area spawn back pretty quickly so you'll be going back into fights that i am constantly trying to avoid simply because i am just trying to beat the damn level if they are going to make you fight enemies i at least wish there was an option for you to run away but there isn't i honestly just kept finding myself just tapping the space bar so many times in a row just for it to hit attack and to get this fight over with it could be very repetitive very fast I think the art direction is great because I think the characters in the worlds were creatively put together and the monsters and boss characters are awesome to see. The different kinds of names for all these different heroes and villains are so insane like the nightmare that will never leave me now which is Pretzel Headman or whatever it is but yeah it's yeah look at that thing. Or you know a baby with a unicorn horn that gets thrown in prison. Or a cop that turns into a dinosaur. That then turns into an avocado, because why not? Lastly, the music for the game was pretty good and well made. I just think that in terms of the sound mixing, however, it can be a bit daunting sometimes when it's supposed to be, you know, something crashing on the screen or exploding that it then just becomes a big jumbled mess and it can sound distorted at times and or just not. I don't know, edited well. I don't know. It just sounds odd sometimes. I don't know if that's meant to be on purpose, but you know, it's nothing too big of an issue, but it's just something I wanted to point out. But listen, hey, if you're into old school turn-based RPGs, then Axe Cop might be up your alley. Just be aware of the ridiculousness that comes with the story and characters. I had some fun playing it, and I think a lot of you guys would too. Guys, my name is Pedro Donias, also known as Gamelight7. Please subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up. Do whatever you guys can to support this channel. Thank you guys so much for us reaching 400 subscribers, guys. I thank you guys so much. If you guys want to continue uh, supporting me even further, there is a link for the Patreon in the description box below if you want to guys want to check that out. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.